Emotions, intentions, okay. So we got the soul. There's two primary influences on the soul. Any idea what they might be? I'll give you there. I'll give you an idea. One of them is. So what would the other one be? Uh, I don't know. I'd say truth is a lie, myself. <laughs> you think about it. Um, love. Everything that's disharmonious with love, we would classify as an error, shall we? If we do that for the purpose of our discussion today. So anything that's disharmonious, disharmony, harmony, with love is error and anything that is harmonious with love so harmony with love is truth so truth is always harmonious with love error is always disharmonious with love in the Bible they call this a dirty word sin we may call it sin because that has a tendency to be a bit missing. Alright. So, right at the moment, there are two primary influences occurring on your soul, on your feelings, on your emotions, on your passions, on your desires, on your intentions, on your aspirations. And those two primary emotions are harmony, or there's a group of them that are in harmony with love. And there's also a group of them, right at the same time, inside the same soul, that are disharmonious with love. So let me identify some of them for you. What do you feel anger would be? So anger would be disharmony with love? Okay, so let's put sort of anger there. Uh, what would uh, compassion be? Harmony of love, so that would be one of those there. What would be doubt? Doubt would be because of, usually we have doubts which are caused by fears. So let's say then fear would be one of those that are in disharmony with love, wouldn't they? Uh, what happens when we have a real strong conviction? inside of ourselves, like feeling really positively motivated. That's harmonious with love? Okay, so being positive. Alright. Well, I'm going to do, uh, in, during this discussion, I'm going to talk about many things that are going to raise your fear and your anger and your doubts. And what I want you to do is to remember that they come from within you. What I'm saying isn't causing them. <laughs> Follow me? You reckon you can do that for me? <laughs> what I'm saying is not causing your doubts or your fears or your anger. The anger or doubts or fears come from within you. Would you agree with that? They are your emotions, they are your emotional response to whatever I'm saying. You. And often we make what are called a assumptions. We assume that what somebody is saying to us is a certain thing. And the reason why we make these assumptions is because inside of us emotionally it's like we're wearing a certain type of glasses, if you like, on our eyes. So everything that we see, we see through the eyes of our emotions. So if I'm an angry man, and my whole life, what will I do with everything I see? I will translate it, won't I, through my anger. And you see that happening a lot, right? Where you have an angry person, and they're always getting angry with all sorts of situations. And sometimes you're thinking, why do they get angry there for? It seemed to be pretty innocent to me, right? So it's the meaning you put on it. It's the meaning you put on it, often, yes. And these kind of emotions come from 
a disharmony with love and they are errors but there is a problem with all errors and that is they are inside of us emotionally and when something gets inside of us emotionally we believe it is the truth so the man who's angry believes he's justified getting angry with everyone doesn't he because he believes his anger is the truth everyone's doing stuff to me and I don't like it that's what he <coughs> believes to be truth but is it the truth well it's not harmonious with love so it's not the truth the truth is quite different the truth is that he is choosing to retain these emotions from some very very deep causes within himself 